My name is Carolyn Thomas Davidoff. I'm a board member for Green Man Theater. This production is called The McAdams Family Spring Break. It's very loosely based on a famous television show, so using characters that will hopefully be familiar to the audience. Oh, Gomez, isn't it lovely weather we're having? Yes, Paramir. That reminds me of the night we first met. Oh, so it does, mon amour. In this particular show, the children have aged up and they're university age now. The daughter now goes by Nessie. She's decided that she's too old to be named for a day of the week. And she and her younger brother both attend Miskatonic U, which is uh, a famous university in an H.P. Lovecraft story. Children, what are you doing, darling? We're reenacting the burning at the stake of Joan of Arc. I get to carry the wood. She gets to be Joan. Of course I do. Adorable. So imaginative. The McAdams family hasn't heard from Nessie in a while, uh, but she's coming home for spring break. When she arrives home, they discover that she's gone over to the light side, temporarily, we find out later, and that she is all bright and colorful and smiling. She has three sorority sisters in tow. And the biggest surprise is that she would like her parents to throw her an engagement party. I said, Thurston Holland Carswell III, my fiance. <laughs> she is engaged to Thurston Holland Carswell III. Her family agrees, since this seems to be what she really wants, and her sorority sisters convince them that they should brighten up both their house and their clothing. They even go so far as to consult the preppy handbook. <laughs> we are the beta, 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 so I'm missing out on you! The three sorority sisters are differentiated in that one is pronouncedly Southern, one is Valley Girl, and one is meant to be cheerleader. So the idea of how different could I make them from the McAdams family? We are going to make it sparkle! Based loosely off the television show, for me, one of the through lines of that was that in spite of their outward darkness, that this really was a very loving, happy, contented family who reached out to other people. You missed a part. I'm bringing friends. Stop. Bringing friends? Oh, more people to cook. Four. The conflict between groups or subcultures is one of those stories that I think fiercely gets repeated. Uh, Romeo and Juliet, West Side Story. When groups come in conflict, all of a sudden their taboos, their rules, their values come into conflict and some people either embrace the different or are very much rubbed the wrong way by the different. And for there to be drama, there has to be conflict. Has to, has to. Oh, a trustee isn't going to brand her as well as broke her. Oh, no, man, that's just a figure of speech. That is how you say it, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> fun? Are, are we blowing something up now? I think that this is tons of fun, both for the actors and for the audience. There's a, a cocktail hour that runs an hour before the show, and the actors come out in character and do what we call schmoozing with the audience, where they come around in character and talk to people. They may drop red herrings to help the audience try to guess who, who done it. May I present Amanita Muscaria, my girlfriend. Oh, good evening. Your home is beyond spectacular. Oh. You should come see McAdams Family Spring Break because it should be a lot of fun. Come see a comedy, interact with the actors, enjoy a good meal, and who knows, take a little spring break of your own. Want you to throw party. Stop. Want 
you to throw the party? That's what it says. That's what it says? That really doesn't sound like Wednesday. Love, Nessie. 